All right, Eight, Portable Apocalypse seven, versus Mantella. Six, These are five, two incredibly tough four, robots. Three. Two, God, I just love one, the name Portable Apocalypse. Robots fight. It says so much. Oh! oh! Wow! Oh my wow. goodness! Oh my! Huge hits uh, on Portable Apocalypse which uh, is surviving, going ping, going around inside of this box. It's doing just as much damage to itself as it is to its opponent at this point. But so far, both these bots are surviving. Mantella, I love the orange. It's a really nice color. It looks like there's a, uh, a nut that came off of possibly portable apocalypse. I do believe so. Let's see if that... Uh... It could be dropping them as a trip hazard. <laughs> Now, the fun fact about Portable Apocalypse is that Portable Apocalypse is a kit, and uh, the, the builder of the kit, Ryan Klingman, is here today running Portable Apocalypse. This is basically an ad for this kit bot. I love it. Look how tough this robot is, Kyle. It's really well put together. It's dishing out a ton of hits doing damage to itself with how powerful that weapon is. And still, it keeps on ticking. Now, Mantella is uh, very smartly just waiting for Portable Apocalypse to stop spinning. Yeah, Mantella it's... is run by Nick Horn from Team Ribot on BattleBots. This is a Team WPI robot. And uh, Mantella, uh, this is their third competition here so far this year. Sounds like one of the weapons is dragging on the floor. Is that the weapon from Portable Apocalypse? Pretty sure it's Mantilla. Oh! Up and over first break. <laughs> Portable Apocalypse living up to that name. It's all over the place. It is. It's just a little bundle of destruction in a very tiny package. I absolutely love this robot. I mean, the toughness on Portable Apocalypse is incredible. It's so entertaining to watch. It's got that frenetic <laughs> energy that you see from a silent spring, you know, just bouncing all over the box with every hit. It's flying around the box like Naruto. <laughs> nice. Here we go, Mantella. With 25 seconds left here, this one may go to the judges. Both weapons still running the full three minutes. Drive is looking good. Look at this, the weapon on Portable Apocalypse has gone down as soon as I said it, Kyle. 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Ooh. two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapon. Drive to the door if you can. And by the this way, this one goes to the judges. That does mean they fixed the clock issue. Good job, Control. Well done, guys. All right, let's see. We started with Diana, then we went with Jack. Let's it's Don's with turn. Don. Don. Don Dorfler, your thoughts on this uh, very evenly matched fight, Mantella versus Portable Apocalypse. Yeah, um, as the match, Portable Apocalypse was bouncing around a lot. Um, so there was that. Uh, but re what really got me was Mantella, the last minute, really capitalized at the very end, just hit after hit, staying on him. Showing its aggression and control. Yeah. For that, that's what I got. All right, so you're going to go with Mantella, is that correct? Yeah. All right. Diana, your thoughts on this match? Portable Apocalypse versus Mantella. Uh, I do tend to agree with Dawn on this one. In the last minute, Mantella showed a lot of control and capitalized on a lot of a lot of hits that he was able to take against Portable Apocalypse. So yeah. I'm going to go with Mantella on this one. All right, we've got two votes for Mantella. Jack, uh, take us home. Yes, definitely Mantella for me as well. They right. did also did the only piece of lasting damage stopping the weapon on Portable Apocalypse. All right, we've got a unanimous judge's decision for Mantella, which advances. Thank you so much, judges. That was a close match. It was very it was. close match. Two and very well the toughness on 